are now in the deep end of horror. And I will see the life run out of you. Hello, my children of the popcorn. Well, I have to admit that I have a problem. I just keep ordering these figures when they go on sale from Zavi, the Eagle Moss alien figures, because they go on sale for so cheap. And usually three for $30. And this one was part of the three for $30. It has a mantis alien and a snake alien, both odes to the old Kenner toys. And it's got a Velcroed front. A very Velcroed front. <laughs> And my wife said I couldn't buy any more of these. I got this one. This one was actually, this is the giant Xenomorph Queen, which I can't even get the box all into view. Um, but Eagle Moss marked it down to $20, so I picked that one up. And anyway, these sit around and I don't open them up. Pred Alien from Alien vs. Predator Requiem. And I don't even open these up because I know that I've got to do a video. And then I get home and I'm so tired, I don't even do a video. So the box remains unopened. Here's the Grid Xenomorph from Alien vs. Predator. The Predator from Predator Homeworld. And I've got even more of these stupid things coming tomorrow. And my wife said I couldn't buy any more until I did did videos of them. And, you know, that's quite reasonable, but still. <laughs> anyway, here's the Honor Predator from Predator 2. And I mustn't neglect the humans. There's the uh, Wayland yutani Commando from... Uh, these guys from Alien 3? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, it's right on the cover. Alien 3. And uh, then from Alien Resurrection... We have Ripley 8 and a basketball, which you can hear rolling around inside the box. Okay, clearly I should have filmed this part, um, filmed this part of the unopening. The reason why you can hear the ball rolling around, um, well, if you'll notice, her hand is still attached to it. Poor Ripley 8. Hopefully I can do something with this. Um, Eagle Moss sent it protected with tons of bubble wrap. I mean, tons and tons of bubble wrap, but it was just in one giant box that had obviously been kicked around. So the, the box left a lot to be desired. Well, time for some up close and personal detail. Here's the Homeworld Predator. As you can see, there's an automatic rifle with scope lying on the ground next to the rock where he's got his foot planted. And we have a bandolier of gear, some foot wraps, a spear, Wolverine claws. Um, coloring is very nice on this one. And we'll put him back here. And then there's the Predator 2 Predator uh, with a ripped out skull and spinal column standing on a build building top. His spear and his dreads. Details really nice on that one, too. Then we have the grid alien from Alien vs. Predator. They've, of course, gridded him up in some really glowing green, so he doesn't look like he does in the film, um, but 
Definitely nice tail action. Bunch of skulls on the ground. Cool, cool spiked back. And I highly recommend these figures when they go on sale at Zavi. Um, this is the Pred Alien from Alien vs. Predator Requiem, who you don't see very well. Oh, and there's a Predator mask there and a grate. And you don't see very much of him in the film uh, because the film is so darn dark. Um, but it's got some choice visuals if you can adjust your colors appropriately. <laughs> and then there's the Prometheus Trollamite. In a huge box. I hope it's a huge piece. And also from Prometheus, the Mutated Fifield. Here's one of the Wayland yutani Commandos from Alien 3. I think they're coming to rescue Ripley. I mean, don't they look like they mean well? And then there's Mutated Fifield from Prometheus. I think it looks pretty neat. And then you also get, it was also on the sale, even though it's a different size. It's the trilobite from Prometheus, but it's huge and it's weighty. Uh, their larger sized ones have, have the same style of base but they're much weightier. Um, still, oh, I didn't blow all the styrofoam off of it. But I guess the best piece was direct from Eagle Moss. Oh, they were clearancing out the Alien Queen for $20. And so, her here and she's a little wobbly in the base but nice action pose and of course the base is the airlock and thanks for watching click like subscribe or even comment below because I want to hear what you think no fear.